Bringing the world of Guardians of the Galaxy to life is challenging and exciting in many ways. How do we create a unique version of the Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm not talking just about the characters themselves because they have to look familiar yet original, but how you build the world and how you build an adventure that is worthy of Guardians of the Galaxy. What was really fun for us in building our story is that Marvel said, it's your own take, do your own version. So although we stuck with the characters that the fans of the movies are going to recognize, we were able to envision them in our own universe with our own story. When you start the game, the Guardians are quite, quite a new team. They've been together for about a year. And at that point, they're more like a group of mercenaries than real heroes. It's kind of this awkward band of misfits that grow as a team, they grow as a family, and at the end, they really become the true Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy is happening in a futuristic world with spaceships and cities. Ray tracing will give more life to the environment, which is a central part of our game. The usual technique that we use in games is called Screen Space Reflection, or SSR, which uses the information that's currently on screen to reflect, but only what's visible. So what ray tracing enables us to do is have this representation of the entire world, including what's off camera, and then we can put that into the reflection. And this way it gives a lot more life to the environment and keeps us connected. We wanted to make players feel like they're traveling into this fantasy version of space. To have like those poppy colors that put a smile on your face and every planet or space station, we really wanted to feel unique. We really wanted to embrace the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy vibe. We have an environment that's mostly made of glass, glass floors, glass walls, and glass ceilings. And then other environments that we have, all different elements that really our TX is gonna help. I know just in the Milano that we have, we have a lot of metallic doors. When you're facing the door, you can't really see any reflection because the reflection would be from anything that's behind you. But once you enable our TX, then you can actually see a little bit more of the environment. It's something that we wanna convey throughout the game is that you're there with the guardians. You know, we're trying to push PC to their limit, so NVIDIA DLSS for us is truly magical. It gives you maximum performance with an increased visual quality, which wouldn't be possible otherwise. I think it's all about kind of immersing you into, into the world and making you feel like, wow, that looks like really insane and everything. It's reflective, it's this, it's that, and to me it's just all about immersion. The story and the game is constantly going in unexpected ways, and in the end, it all joins together for what I think will be a very strong emotional experience. I'm very excited for players to embrace our version of the Guardians and immerse themselves into our fresh take on that world. United in the light of belief, all suffering, all grief will end. Um, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a uh, you have something on your. My what?